Well, June, are you ready to upload your code for all the world to see? <laughs> yeah, I am. Welcome to Mobile Applications. My name's Nigel, and this is my lovely wife, June. Hello. And this is a, another episode of Wife Learns Android Programming. Okay, June, so you've written this wonderful code. We've tested it, so it's got all the positioning of different types of views. Now you're ready to upload it to GitHub, so I can use it, and we're going to offer it to anyone else on the internet to use as well via GitHub. So, okay, to upload, we're using Android Studio here, by the way. To upload your code, do you want to select VCS, and it's got a little upwards green arrow. No, it's a little icon just below that. No, 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 get out of that. Okay. There's an icon over there. Okay. This one? It's got like a little green arrow pointing up, VCS. Yeah, VCS, this yep. is, isn't it? Do you want to select that? Yeah. So these are basically the code changes here. The main thing we're interested is this one file is where you've made all the changes. Um, we've got other configuration details here, but we'll upload those as well. But this is the main file here. Whenever you, what we're going to be doing is making a commit, submitting that commit, and then pushing out to GitHub. Whenever you make a submission in Git, it's good to put a message. So can you just put a message of what you did here? Yeah. What kind of message? Just say, um, created two additional views and code. 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 That's it? Yeah. Right. The next thing here is the commit button, which is actually pointing it into Git. Oh, well, yeah. And if you put your mouse over, you've got commit and push. Yeah. So what that does is that puts your source code into Git first, but when you run a push, you're actually pushing your code changes back up yep. to the repository, which happens to be GitHub. So why not do it the easiest way and do the two things? So I suggest you do commit and push. Commit and push. Yep. Okay, so it looks like it's done the commit part and now it's doing the push part. So all you need to do here now is press select push. Just here? Yeah. And it should be pushing your code changes up. And it's telling you down here that five files are committed. So it's giving you the status updates yeah. down here, June. Yeah. So the green box before was saying that your files have been committed yeah. locally. Now it's showing you that the push is successful. Yeah. So your code has now gone out to yeah. GitHub. Mm. Does that, do you understand that? I think so, yeah. Good. Okay, so let's go to the repo. I've yeah. got my repo here because you've yeah. actually pushed your code yeah. changes, yeah. not up to your GitHub account, but yeah. to mine because yeah. I've added you as a contributor. Mm -hmm. So let's go. What is it? Android Wife Layouts? Yeah. Select that. Okay, so there's been five commits there. Let's see if I can select the details of those. As you can see here, June, mm -hmm. June authored a minute ago. Yeah. Created two additional views and code. Does that seem does that seem familiar? Yeah. Okay, let's go back in there and let's go into the actual code itself. Because you can browse the code in here. Uh, let's have a look. Remember, this code wasn't yeah. up here before. Yeah. Wow, this looks um, like your code, June. I wrote it. It's like upload. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not only can I access this code, you, you all can access this code. You can get June's code and try out what the exercises that June did. Mm -hmm. So that's available for everyone. I'll put the details of the repro up there. Um, I think following on from this, we're going to actually 
start tagging as well. So what tagging means is every time you make a change, you can put a label against the change, so you can pick up the changes very easily. And that's what I do for my other tutorials as well. Every time I make a change, I tag it, put a little label, text label next to the number as such. But well done. Your code is now there for the world to see. Okay. They might say nice things, they might say yeah. bad things, but that's the internet for you. Anyway, that's the end of uh, this one. Um, thank you very much for contributing your code to the internet, Jude. Okay, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I'll shake your hand again. Okay, I, I think that's it for this one. Yeah. Um, if you enjoy these tutorials and have a look at my channel, there's plenty of other different types of Android tutorials as well. Click on that subscribe button. And now surrounding me, you can see my social media accounts. What do we normally do? You follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, pin me on Pinterest, and I'll have to work out what you want to do with me on Google+. Anyway, that's all for this one. It's bye from me. Bye. And bye from you.